Bodhidharma's Wall. In the 60s, in the famous rat experiments, they experimented to try and find the best way of putting the greatest number of rats in an area while reducing stress amongst the rats. And they discovered that the best way was to put each individual rat in a, in a shoe box, a cardboard box, and stack them up. Bodhidharma's wall. We're all facing a wall, four walls, in this rat experiment to reduce stress. But it doesn't reduce stress. It's important to know that if you think you're going to die, is to get outside, break out of the four walls and get outside to die. It is best to be cremated outside. Orthodox Hindu. So we're facing these four walls. Now if we look in the biblical prophecy of Daniel chapter 2, which prophesies the silicon chip, the stone cut out without hands, that grows into a great mountain that fills the whole earth, you know, the world wide web. But when in that time, that's the time of the iron and clay, the steel and concrete, the reinforced concrete boxes. And it says that in this time, of the world wide web that man will not cleave unto each other but every man will live separately in his own reinforced concrete box as they've designed for us a prison system of four walls which we're facing now it's a common experience of the ill and the imprisoned and the young, the smoking marijuana, the tree of life, dissolve those walls. It is the experience of many, the smoking marijuana on the internet dissolves those barriers to our consciousness, to our action together, to our extended family, to our unity, to Brahman, the shining self. So this is the situation of Bodhidharma. Apparently he went to the temple and maybe he was irascible, but he chose then to go and live in a cave and stare at the wall for nine years and not speak to anyone. forever dwelling in brightness, just merging being the shining self, Brahman of the Upanishads, the true self, the Buddha nature, Buddha, the self, the beloved. For every man some substitute is found, but the self has no one to take his place. So Bodhidharma was abiding in brightness, and he learned or explained afterwards several things. One was that scriptures, written words, did not help. If the beloved self chooses to hide himself from you, then neither word nor sign will show him. Neither word nor sign. If you don't find him within the beloved self, only the self can realize the self. 
This is not an external personality cult. And then Bodhidharma realized the sameness of the saints and the sinners, of the self and others. The Guru says that the one obstacle to enlightenment is looking down on others. You know, I am enlightened, you are not enlightened. I am saved, you are a sinner. This is an obstacle to enlightenment. So we're looking at four walls. It is a mistake to believe in the stability of the world. Om Namah Shivaya Everything must pass. Everything will be destroyed. I bow to one who controls and destroys. Om Namah Shivaya So they keep us in the separate boxes and they give us a flat screen, a TV screen. Normally we would, we're all facing a wall of our separate existence, a wall in which we're seeing visions of things to come. The only sin is covetousness in his impatience for things to come. So we're dreaming and we're seeing this vision on our flat screen TV or in our minds or in the flames of things to come. And then we covet things. We want them to come. So we become trapped in this dream of this outside vision, this projection of our own de uh, insatiable desire. So Bodhidharma stared at the wall for nine years. He stopped his covetousness. He stopped his imagination. He felt the devotion of the monks who attended upon him. The ones around him, his community, this is how it will happen through the internet, the great mountain that fills the whole earth, the holy tree of life grows upon that mountain. And the walls dissolve. Look how evil the system is to the uh, stop and search and stop and frisk and stops medical marijuana. Give the prisoners marijuana, then the walls will dissolve. Our separation from we, each other will dissolve. Our fears and emptiness will dissolve. Our delusions and our self-importance will dissolve. Om Namah Shivaya. So the scriptures do not help. In Samadhi there is neither subject nor object. Neither subject nor object. The object is an illusion, the subject a delusion. A 
abiding in the shining self Brahman that mysterious being 